In this video, we're going to show you how to perform a firmware upgrade on a Mica Neo Series digital photo frame. The process is the same for all models in the Neo Series, regardless of size. First, go to the official Mica Electronics website at www.micatron.com and find the webpage that corresponds to your product. Here we are on the webpage for the Neo Series 12 inch and 15 inch digital photo frames. Scroll down until you see the Downloads tab and click on it. There are three buttons for downloading firmware on this page, each one for a different model. Make sure you click on the one that corresponds to your photo frame model. We're going to be doing the firmware update on the 12 inch model, so we click this button and the firmware is downloaded. Find the downloaded firmware file on your computer and double click on it to open it. Inside the firmware zip file are two files. One is the release notes and the other one is the firmware itself, named fwimage. Copy this firmware file onto an empty SD card. Check the SD card to make sure the firmware was successfully copied. Next we're going to do the firmware update. Take the SD card with the firmware on it and insert it into the photo frame. Using the remote control, turn the photo frame on. Once the photo frame starts, it will show a brief message indicating that the SD card has been detected, but because there are no photos, a slideshow doesn't start. Navigate to the settings icon and press OK. Scroll down to system setup and press OK again. Now scroll down all the way until you see System Upgrade. Press the OK button, select Yes in the pop-up window, and press OK again to continue. The firmware update process will now begin. It will take a couple minutes. When the firmware update is finished, the frame will restart itself. There may be a prolonged period where the screen is completely dark, Wait at least two to three minutes. If the frame doesn't start by itself, power cycle it by unplugging and plugging it back in. At this point, the firmware update is complete and the photo frame is ready for use. Just to be certain, however, we can go into the settings menu and check that the firmware has been updated to the latest version. After confirming that the upgrade was successful, power off the photo frame and remove the SD card. If you run into any problems with the firmware update or just have questions in general about our products, please don't hesitate to contact us through our support email address, support at microtron.com. Thank you for your business and thank you for watching this tutorial.